Good morning everyone, Jerry Bellini here from Recycle Parts for Art. And this morning's video, because it's Tuesday, happy Tuesday by the way, is just going to be a little chit chat. I watch uh, several people, um, I think they call it vlogging, and uh, one in particular, um, Elizabeth Wallace, she is never hopeless on YouTube, and she does what she calls ramble sessions. And I love them because you catch up on what's going on with her kids and her husband and what she's doing in her Fobonichi, and I really, really enjoy it. So I thought I would try it myself, and I don't know what I'm going to call it. Maybe video blah blahing. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. But I thought, let me come on and chit chat with my peeps. Um, I love you guys. So I have cheat sheets, so I don't forget what I want to tell you. I want to stay focused. So I don't blog. Okay, a lot of people blog, and I was thinking this year instead of blogging that I would use my Facebook page. I have a Facebook page and there's a difference between a Facebook group and a Facebook page. So I have both. But my Facebook page, it's Recycle Parts for Art and like if you want to follow me anywhere, you just look for that name and you'll, you'll find me. So anyway, I have this page and I was thinking what am I going to do with this page? going forward. I'm thinking about 2018. I'm making, I'm setting up my goals now. And yeah, I only got like a week or so left. <laughs> but I've been thinking about doing a lot of things for a long time. So one of the things is I think I'm going to start blogging on my Facebook page. So if you haven't followed it, I think Facebook pages you follow or you like, go on over and click the like button and follow me over there. So I have a couple of different social media platforms and I plan on doing something different on each one. So I have um, a newsletter. I'll do uh, something on the newsletter. I think I'll do uh, coupon codes and um, inspiration. And then I have a, an awesome Facebook group and it's called Recy Recycle Parts for Art and Gang. And there's, at this particular moment, there's 2,600 plus people on it. And every day they're posting their gorgeous, amazing recycled art. So um, that's what we do there. Then I just told you about my Facebook page, what I'm going to do. I'm going to blog there. I think I'm going to feature some uh, recycling artists um, and talk about different tips, uh, maybe you know, how you can get a good buy at the thrift store, um, stuff like that. Uh, and then I post on Instagram, and that's just pictures to inspire. Um, and Twitter a little bit. Not real big on Twitter. But anyway, um, let's see. So I told you about Elizabeth. I wanted to tell you about her, and you should go check her out. And now I have to tell you, okay, my exciting news, I'm so happy. You probably have heard me ya ya about Skillshare, and I did my first paid-for class on Skillshare, and I actually trended. Okay, so trending <laughs> means that you got 25 students in the first two weeks. But what it really means is that they advertise you, and there's like 2 million viewers on Skillshare. And so if you go to Skillshare, I have a link you can get Skillshare free for two months. And I'm going to put that in the description below. But um, if you go over there and you type in the search bar, Recycled, oh my gosh, I'm number one. I came up first. <laughs> I was like dying. So I want to thank all of you that supported me, watched my video uh, over there. I really, really, really do appreciate it. So... We had a winner, okay, because I offered a contest. Excuse me a second for bending over. I had to grab my phone. Um, I offered a contest uh, recently, well, when I did the Skillshare class. And, oh my gosh, something happened to my phone. They did an update. Now everything looks different. Skillshare. So I offered, uh, if anybody would take the class, 
I offered um, a gift, a giveaway, okay? So um, Cynthia Talbot, Talbot, I think, I don't, Talbot, I don't wanna, um, I'm really butchering your name, <laughs> Nelson. She won my giveaway and she won a pound of my fabric and she's gonna make a ratty rag rug. So I'm tickled to death about that. So yay, Cynthia, and thank you so much for all your um, support. I really appreciate it. All right, so that was the trending thing. Um, so the next thing I wanted to tell you about was um, this past year, I made a lot of decisions about my life going forward and my, new, my newest journey. And um, I really wanted to just talk about it for a second. You know, my mother passed away. A lot of you that follow me already know that. It's going to be three years in February, and when she died, I started drifting because she was a huge part of my life, and without her, I wasn't quite sure. I didn't know what to do with myself, so I had been thinking, you know, I had to do something art and creative related because it's in my soul, and um, as some of you may know, I had a bead store. Uh, for many years, it was 12, 12 plus years, and I loved inspiring and encouraging others and teaching. I loved it, and so I thought, well, I could be creative. I could sell my work because I like. I've been making a lot of altered books lately, um, and among other recycled art projects, or you know, I could sell things like I used to do in the bead store. So anyway, I, you know, I've been thinking about this for three years now <laughs> and decided uh, this past year that um, I would do a little of both. So I'm going to, um, well, I have been selling my recycled junk and I've been selling a few of my altered books and a couple of other things. Uh, that I have made. Like I make these bottle cap wind chimes and that kind of thing. My husband and I do an art show at least once a year um, what we like to. This year we, we didn't get to do that because I think it got rained out. But anyway, I digress. So um, I'm off on a new adventure. I actually am working with a business coach this year and I am tickled to death about it. And I have an accountability buddy and uh, a business accountability buddy and Monica you're awesome she's awesome we work together really well we push each other beyond our limits <laughs> and it's really uh, really good for us anyway uh, so I'm going to be doing I'm going to be doing that this year and I hope that you'll follow me and um, you know check me out so that's that's that and of course it's recycle parts for art with the number four um, let me see here. Okay, what else did I want to tell you? Um, okay, so I think I mentioned that I have a newsletter. And if I didn't mention it, I'm mentioning it now. So I would love for you to sign up for my newsletter. Um, and you can find all this stuff on my website. All right, now, talking about my website, I decided to put a networking page on my website and it is for the support and encouragement of anyone out there that has an art related business so if you have an art related business you have a website or an Etsy shop or something um, email me at info at recycled parts with the number four art Dot com and if you would like to be on my networking page I would like you to be there because I really believe in supporting one another so check out my website check out the page and see if you know if it's something that you think you'd like to be on I think I have four artists there now and uh, I would like to fill that page up so think about that all right, let's see. Oh, if you haven't noticed, I'm wearing a bandana <laughs> because I decided to go gray. 
So I did mention this um, in a couple of different places on the internet, but I can't stand um, I can't stand the hair dye. I can't take it anymore. And so uh, my hair used to be really long, um, and I cut it all off. Okay, see, it's real short now, and I'm growing it out. So my hairdresser is doing something. She's tipping it or something. I don't know what she's doing. Um, she's cutting it a certain way to make it look like it's on purpose and I'm happy I like it I'm real happy with it so I hope you like the new look and as it grows out uh, we'll see what happens but I'm liking not having to dye my hair oh my gosh I'm really liking that all right I wanted to update you um, and I haven't even taken one sip of my tea so let's take sippy sippy mm. Yummy. Okay, so I wanted to update you on the little house. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I currently live in this huge Victorian house. I raised my children in this house and had my grandchildren in, over in this house, and we had parties and Christmases and functions. It's huge. I can't stand it. Uh, I want a house on one floor. So last year, March, we bought a ranch, a tiny ranch house. And my husband has been doing a total remodel on it. And he's doing a fabulous job. It is taking a little longer than we anticipated. <laughs> but that's okay because things have a way of working out the way they're supposed to. And we probably will be moving sometime early spring. So I just wanted to tell you about the little house. And I will, you know, I continue to tell everybody about the little house uh, from time to time. So we just, <clears throat> Betty, be quiet. We just recently, oh, it was a couple weeks ago, we had a tree planted in our yard here. And we had planted it for my mother many years ago. There was a tree in the spot. We had to cut it down because it got sick. My mom cried. So we said, we'll plant another tree. So we did. Anyway, I couldn't bear the thought of leaving the tree. So we had this tree service person come in. He had this huge machine. He grabbed this tree. It was amazing. I took videos. I posted a couple of little um, short clips on uh, my Facebook page, if you're interested. And we moved the tree. So after we moved the tree, I yarn bombed it. And I have some photographs on, on my social media, too, of that. And that was so much fun <laughs> so the the tree and we we named her mabel the maple tree she is now over at the little house waiting for me to get over there all right the last thing i want to talk about with you guys and then i'll i'll, I'll let you go i hope i didn't bore the death out of you uh the last thing is how many of you choose a word for the year Okay, I love to choose a word for the, for the year. Last year, I chose the word attitude. My mom used to say to me all the time, Jerry, it's all about your attitude. Change your attitude and change your life. So all year, I kept thinking, you know, about my attitude. And I, I really made a lot of changes this past year, a lot. And I try to keep a good attitude. And I try to stay positive. It's hard sometimes to stay positive. And, and you might see in some of my posts in social media, I have this little tag, hashtag, I choose joy with a green heart, because you know I love green. Um, and what I really mean is, I have a lot of pain and suffering in my life, as, as do all of us, really. And I make a conscious effort to choose joy. And that requires a shift in my attitude. So that was my word for last year. I really learned a lot from that word. And I, can, I could elaborate, but I won't bore you. And so now I'm thinking about the word for this year. What word do I want for this year, for 2018? So I'm asking you, what word? If you've picked a word already, please leave them in the comments below. 
and um, keep me posted on, on your word. And I haven't picked my word yet. I think I might do this um, video blogging thing again. And um, if I do, or let's say when I do, I'll give you the word that I've decided on for the year. So I'm going to leave you with that thought, and I hope you all have a blessed day full of love and recycled art, and I am so happy to have you in my life. And uh, I hope you'll follow me on some of the social media platforms that I'm on, and um, you know, reach out. And I definitely want you on my networking page. So get in touch with me for that. All right, talk to you soon.